Okay. A friend of mine wanted me to do a rant video on a topic that was um, bothering him, and he wanted me to give his my two cents on it. So I'm happy to oblige. I'm going to do that. So um, I guess the topic he wanted me to talk about is people with tattoos, body piercings, and the way they have their hairstyle. Now, in all those three areas, um, people have the right to dress the way they want to dress, have certain piercings on their self or tattoos or the way they have their hairstyle. It's their body, you know? I feel that, you know, when you're at a certain age, like say you're 18, that's when it's like fair game. But when you're a kid, I understand that you still have the right to dress the way you want to dress, but when it comes to body art or certain piercings and stuff like that, like facial piercings, I think that's where the line that gets drawn, where it's like, uh, I don't think you guys are old enough to do that. But, again, when you turn 18, it's fair game. So, you know, that's the way I see it, you know. But, um, I think what's going on is that people have certain stereotypes about people with body piercings and tattoos and certain hairstyles and they believe that that person may be no good uh that person's a no hoper the person um is part of a gang the person's emo or gothic and i just think that it's a it's just a harsh stereotype to go by i mean i've had friends who have those types of things on their body like tattoos and piercings and weird hairstyles and to be honest with you they're most of them are like the nicest people in the world you know i don't think that you should base a person's uh character by what they have i mean yes to some extent there are times where what you look on the outside might match the inside but that doesn't necessarily true for everybody <laughs> You know, because sometimes, you know, a person who dresses up so proper with suit and tie and everything can be a douchebag as well. Actually, no, I know a couple of them. I'm a teacher. There's some douchebags who are teachers in there. <laughs> and they're supposed to be professional. I used to work one, work a few. But I don't want to get into that. But anyway, um, the one thing I think that people seems to overlook when it comes to those type of things is is the reason why they have them you know yeah the normal thing is like maybe they do it in memory of someone maybe they're doing it because it looks good but has anyone ever thought about it, it might be because of a cultural thing you know like say tattoos for example like the Samoan culture you know they have full body tattoos because you know it symbolizes manhood or it symbolizes that you are the high chief you know same thing that goes for the African American uh, Africans you know they have t certain body body paint tattoos and stuff like that that symbolizes different things now in everyday life some people still follow those traditions and have certain tattoos or have certain piercings on themselves because it's part of a cultural thing or even the hairstyle like you know I'm Jamaican most Jamaicans have um dreadlocks and um and they call like Rastafarians you know and some people live up to that kind of um culture because it's a traditional thing you know and there's nothing wrong with that but I just think that people do overlook that rather than just like trying to think is it a cultural thing is it a statement thing or is it just because they want to do that you know not every woman who has a like a tattoo on their lower back means that they're a slut, you know, and that's that's the norm thing, you know what I mean? So I just think that those types of features are can be mes misled because of this, you know, just because, you know, doesn't mean anything. Could be a cultural thing, it could be just a person that has a preference, you know what I mean? Doesn't mean that the person's no good. Now, um, to get to the main point, um, he was mentioning something about um, and it, like he's trying, my friend was trying to get a job, and they were asking him to do certain things in order to get the job. The things that they asked him to do was like remove piercings from his face, remove tattoo his tattoos, and cut his hair because he has actually have long hair. Now, I'm gonna get to each point and talk about where I think it's kind of wrong to do that, and at the same time, it's right. Now, I understand in the work environment, every job has a dress code. You have to look like a professional, especially if you're working in retail or, 
you know, dining and stuff like that. You you want to look good for your customers so the customer feel at ease. You know, what's the first thing people are going to see? Your face, which is which is front, which is, you know, true. The first thing they're going to see is your face. So I would say I understand if someone doesn't want to hire someone because they have a tattoo on their face or body piercings all over their face and stuff like that because it doesn't look very pleasant to, you know, the customers. Well, unless you, if you're working for places like Spencer's and Hot Topic or something like that, I think that's where you can get away with that. But I can understand why people don't want to hire people. Now, what if the tattoos on their arm? on the leg and something like that and then all of a sudden they say well I see tattoos on you, you need to remove them there are other ways of going about about it by wearing a long sleeve shirt is one I mean not all places have short sleeve uh, polo shirts as their uniform and I just wish that people would stop doing that like that's like like well you can't have this job because you have tattoos you need to remove them why now, for him, it's not a cultural thing. It's because he's um, he, he had those tattoos mean a lot to him because it has to do with his family, uh, things he believes in, and stuff like that. And he doesn't want to remove them, especially if it's on his arm and you have, you have a chance to hide them. Then that shouldn't be a problem. I mean, I've seen places where the people have like a polo shirt and they have a long sleeve shirt underneath. You know, um, another thing that I was like. Oh, that he also mentioned is the body piercings and he said that um, he's not too worried about that because he can always take them off and remove them which is not a big deal but you already, I already told you how I felt about with piercings on the face but then the last thing he told me about is his hair that they asked him to cut his hair down now the reason why he doesn't want to cut his hair is because it's part of a cultural thing he's actually Native American and for what he told me Native Americans don't cut their hair um I need to ask him why maybe he'll Oh, I'll probably explain that under the comments below. Um, he probably explained that when he sees this video. But, yeah, I mean, I can say, like, depending on what job it is, I can understand why they don't want people with long hair because sometimes that you work with machinery, sometimes your hair gets caught in and then you'd be in trouble, you know. But at the same time, there are other ways to go about it you know you can put your hair up you can wear a hat or something like that to keep your hair all together you know there are compromises to everything with the tattoos the piercing there are compromises because if that person is actually good for the job why pass it up because of their facial features or their body features I think that's stupid now and if you're gonna and if a job is gonna you know turn you down for a job because your you know your tattoos is a cultural thing or your hair is a cultural thing that's a thing called discrimination and most jobs have a policy that they cannot discriminate people because of their race religious beliefs age sex whatever they cannot discriminate that even sexual orientation you cannot discriminate that and if they are discriminating that person refusing a job because he refuses to take his um take off you know cut his hair down because it's a cultural thing, then yeah, that job is breaking the law, unfortunately. And again, with the tattoos, there's compromise. I mean, make a compromise. You know, if the guy's good for the job, give him the job and make a compromise. I mean, you prefer someone who's like all cleaned up and stuff and don't know what he's doing, but you still want to just put the spot in. And what if the person makes a mistake? Then whose fault is that? You know what I'm saying? All right, so that's all I have to say about it. I hope um, it kind of sheds light. And to my friend Isaac, um, I hope that uh, <clears throat> you like this video. That I'm on your, back, I'm, I'm behind you 100%. And before I go, again with the people with the with the dress code, I'm a teacher, and there are times I've seen teachers with ripped jeans. Uh, body pieces piercings and tattoos on them and they still have a job because they're good at what they're doing It's not often you see that sometimes you see it once in a blue moon. I'm just saying you know, but Anyway, uh, before I go, um, I want to give a shout out to my friend Isaac uh, because he You know, like I said, he asked me to do this video and I want to say 
you know, thank you for giving me an idea to do a video. And also check his YouTube channel out. His name is Rock Paint. He's actually a wrestler just like me. So, if you know, some of his wrestling matches is on his YouTube account. So you can check it. Boom, right there. Uh, check him out. Uh, check his matches. He's pretty good. Um, he's getting up there uh, in the New England circuit of professional wrestling. So I hope you guys enjoy him. All right, so this is uh, Dual Dream rant number 13, and I hope to see you guys later. Take care.